click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of machine design 1. We are right now learning about the design procedures and numerical about different couplings. In the last session, in the last video, we have gone through the different formulae and the design criteria of split muff coupling. Let us see how to solve a numerical on the design of split muff coupling. So friends, as you know, split muff coupling is also known as clamp coupling or compression coupling because in that two splits are taken together and they are compressed due to the bolt and nut assembly. So friends, you can see the numerical statement in the screen. It says that the dimensions for the given coupling are mentioned, the power transmission and the RPM are mentioned and they have said design split muff coupling, materials are also specified. Materials with their factor of safety are given. So we have to refer to these materials from the PhD data book and we have to find out their material properties. Let's quickly go through what the problem is. This is how your muff coupling looks like. This is the upper sleeve, lower sleeve. These are the two shafts which are of course different in diameters which we need to connect together. This is nothing but the key and this is nothing but the key on the another shaft. The dimension of the first shaft, second shaft are given so we need not design them separately. We may go through the safety procedure. This is the diameter of the outermost layer of the coupling. These are the bolts are placed and this was the section view given. So let us move ahead with the given data. Let us start with the material selection. Now they have said shaft material given is and the muff material given is so we know that muff is going to be casted and shaft is going to be the component of ferrous that is nothing but steel so in that case factor of safety in this case is smaller as compared to factor of safety in muff because muff is going to be made up of the brittle material so if you refer to the PhD data book, and it's topic number one, we'll get value for sigma yield and value for sigma in this case of muff is equal to 300 Newton per millimeter square. And therefore we can say that for the given FOS, sigma t, of course the allowable value, comes out to be 75 Newton per millimeter square. Of course, in this case, we can consider them to be equal in tension as well as in compression. So you can say the same value will be there in compression. And therefore, the shear value in this case, of course, the allowable value will be half of this because it's a ductile material. It comes out to be 37.5 Newton per millimeter square. Now in this case, we have a material which is gray cast iron with factor of 55. Let us select this value and therefore its allowable value in tension comes out to be and its allowable value in shear will be somewhere around the half the value if the proper component is given or any other additional information is given accordingly we can modify the value but in absence of all this we can go for the half the value of its yield value. So value comes out to be 25 Newton per millimeter square. With this material selection let us proceed for the actual design procedure. So let us begin with the shaft keys and the component. So design of shaft and keys is very important and we know that shaft generally fails under the torsion or shear and that's why we need to find out the torque component very prominently. We know that power is given by this particular formula. Let us substitute the values. You can use the letter T or you can use the letter MT also. It's the same thing for torque. We have been given the power parameter and the RPM parameter and therefore in this case torque formula will be converted to power in kilowatt into 60 10 raised to 6 
divided by as we move ahead after solving we will get the value of mt is equal to somewhere around this particular value of course when we use this formula you should remember that we get the value in newton millimeter let's use it, use it here now we know that shear stress is what the prominent thing we have and therefore is given by now this tau value you need to understand that is the induced value of the shear stress inside it we have two different values to compare the induced value and the value which is allowable the allowable value we already have figured out and this induced value we are going to compare with it and for that we need to substitute the value of diameters now students you need to understand that there are two different shafts with two different diameters so if you understand this diameter and the value of mt are directly proportional so we'll go for the maximum diameter in that case but in that case if you understand that diameter and the shear are inversely proportional with each other so if the diameter increases the value of the tau reduces and if the diameter reduces the value of tau will increase so that's why we should prefer the smallest value of diameter which in our case is 60 millimeter and that's why i'll say it is 60 cube as i solve this relation i'll get value of tau somewhere equal to 19.81 newton per millimeter square so this is what the induced value of the diameter dimensions we have so tau is what induced now let us compare with the standard value the allowable value we have found out is somewhere around 37.5 newton per millimeter square now here we can see that the induced value is quite considerable smaller than the allowable value and therefore i'll say shaft is safe for the given conditions so students we have figured out that the shaft is safe in this condition so we can proceed ahead always remember that you need to verify whether the shaft is safe or not accordingly you have to change your remaining dimensions because most of the dimensions as far as the couplings are concerned are dependent upon the dimensions of shaft and that's why we need to consider the shaft safety first so students next important thing is the key key selection now we know that we select the keys on the standard basis so this is what a schematic of a key is where we have dimension b dimension h and the dimension l which is nothing but the length of the key so based on the shaft diameter now again you will find that in phd data book there is a separate section on keys if you refer to that section that section depends upon or the key dimensions do depend upon the dimensions of the shaft so with the dimension of the shaft that we have we can select this particular key where breadth is 18 and its height is 11 millimeter of course so the last component we have to figure out that is length because we have studied that the key design is based in two manners one is in shear another is in compression or crushing so that's why let us find out the length of the key based on these two aspects now in shear we know that this is the formula that is used for the key selection let's substitute the values Now length is an unknown parameter for us here the breadth we have selected already it's a standard selection the value of tau is now going to be the allowable value of tau so let me modify the formula for your reference because unknown is going to be l in this case so tau value which is considered is 37.5 into now the diameter we have considered the smaller one that's why let us go for the smaller one diameter which is nothing but 60 divided by 2 so only unknown found out to be is l and therefore as we solve this example we'll get length somewhere equal to 41.48 millimeter so this is the first trial where we have found out length using shear failure let's move ahead and before that let me mention that it's a standard selection again 
key will fail in crushing if it has to fail so the formula again remains the same and the key selection criteria again remains the same where this is b h and l you have selected b and h already which are nothing but so let's substitute the values again length again is an unknown in our case h in this case is 11 now for specific purposes of course we can take sigma c is equal to sigma t but in this case let us take it slightly higher the value because the kind of coupling that we have it's a split muff coupling though i had mentioned in the beginning of this video that we can take sigma c is equal to sigma t but in this case it was provided in the problem statement that sigma c should be greater than the sigma t what does it mean we should consider some slight consideration or the margin as far as the compressive stress is concerned because in compression material will fail early as compared to the stress in tension and that's why we'll take it somewhere around 40 percent greater than that because it's a standard practice and therefore sigma c will be somewhere equal to 1.4 times sigma t if we make it allowable yes the allowable value do also follow the same meaning and therefore instead of just sigma c i'll say it is the allowable value of sigma c i'll say it is 1.4 times sigma t of course allowable into diameter again we have is 60 divided by 2. now we know that sigma t we have figured out 75 newton per millimeter square and therefore as we substitute this value back into that we'll get the only parameter unknown which is length in our case comes out somewhere around to be 48.3 millimeter so students let us have these two values of lens compared with each other the first value is somewhere around 42 and somewhere around 48 in the second trial now we know that length is directly proportional with the stresses which induce in them or the talk carrying capacity that's why let us select the higher the value and that's why our selection should go for the 48.3 millimeter however we need to consider the proper value which is the preferred series value and that's why let us say let key length lk be equal to 50 millimeter of course it's an approximation but since the value is safe in this value has to be safe in this case also and therefore the key length finally is this and therefore selected key is nothing but its breadth in versus height versus length and therefore in our case it becomes the breadth is 18 versus 11 versus the length 50 millimeter so that is what the selection of key so students there we finish with the design procedure of the shaft and design procedure of the key in the next section we will design the split and the muff and the bolts related with it Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.